ang sarili ko. Ayan siya. Ano ko na ano video. Um, of course, this video about feel good. Eh, y'all like my blanket? Y'all like it? Yes, it got all this stuff on it. Then it got like this polka dot pattern right here. Yes, and then it got this like line pattern right here. I thought it was just gorgeous. And I got this from Ross. This right here, what I tell y'all was the last one left. It was the last one left in this matching box. Right don't play with them. Don't, 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 don't. Hey, hey, hey. Don't play with them. Don't, don't, don't play with them. I'm tired. All right, so anyway, guys, um, I'm doing this video because how do y'all guys feel or how do y'all guys think or what do y'all guys think about Creo Bay, right? Let's say Creo Bay feel about Erica messing with her ex. Because obvious, I think obviously they both feel in some type of way because now all of a sudden, you know, they went out and uh, he would have rained. But peep the lines. Muck a gang like he not rushing. We don't want to take their time. Um. You know, like, don't all this news out there. But, you know, he ain't, he ain't call Erica nothing. And I'm, I'm glad he ain't call her. You know what I'm saying? But how do y'all guys feel, you know, as far as Creole Bay feeling some type of way about Erica messing with Dana, is she mad? Is she glad? Is she happy? Was she already saying that they was messing with each other? Drop some comments down, yo, and tell me what if you was her, how would you think, and what was your reaction? Because he said somebody came and knocked on his door, covered his door up, or whatever. And my thing is, you know. We have a clue, but we don't really have a clue because he wasn't there. You know, she do know where he live at. You know what I'm saying? And and um, she know where he live at. And besides, just knowing where he live at, she know if he got cameras. If he don't have cameras, you know this and that and third. So my my wife is saying, you know, to be wasting my three hundred dollars. You know, I would have been getting cameras for my home to protect my home. Getting them um lights, them them lights, you know, they cut on the minute, you know, they cut on. So if anything happens, somebody will see it. Um just disguising my home because I, one thing we should do the certain I'm not gonna let nobody run me on the house. Like that's not gonna happen. No, 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 no. And who damn want me? Like I, I'm not letting nobody run me on my house. That's my domain. That's my rest place. That's my spot. I come and chill at. You know. That's that's where I lay my head at. Basically. So why would I want drama at my at my door? And especially, I don't know who the hell it is, <laughs> you know. But if I know, I'm not, I'm not, you're not running me out of the world. I'm not letting you run me out of my domain. I'm so tired, y'all. I can't see. I'm not going to do it. I hate therapy today. Shut up. My eyes, my eyes water, so 
I, my eyes water, so whatever water is left over is going to dry up. And that's what I'm wiping out. I'm wiping it dry from the water that stink that set my eye. We pour cards coming out. No, we pour cards today. And, yeah, I got the, oh, uh, angel. Y'all know what perfume is going to be? CK, uh, uh, CK. But anyway, guys, um, do you think it was Phil Big Brother? I don't think it was the mucker. For real, for real, I don't think, I mean, I will watch out for him, but I don't think it was the mucker. If it, if it was anybody... It would have been Creole Bay by herself. I don't think the mucker might tell her what to do or whatever and stuff like that. But I don't think the mucker actually um went down there. But I don't put it past Erica. You know, and they probably was staking out to see was Erica in the house. But why would they be staking out to see if Erica is there when... You know, they mess with each other. But that's says to say, like, they told on themselves, you know, they, they put the relationship out so fast. Only they met November, December, January, every three months. They ain't even waiting half a year to bring out the information. Like, it was just, like, so fast. Like, damn, we, we mess with each other. Who don't like it? Because we're going to still mess with each other regardless. You know? And Danny and Erica have a right to mess with each other. In my opinion. Because of the fact that she had needs also. Right? And they taking it slow. These ones taking it fast. And they taking it slow because, you know, at a certain degree. That's how all this stuff came about. Moving too fast, fast pace. It's such a fast pace, you're not even realizing what's going on around you and what's affecting your relationship. And it could be just, you know, um, both of y'all affecting the relationship, but it just happens so fast. You know, you not you not knowing what's going on in your own freaking surroundings. And that's what a lot of us, you know, even if, you know, we in a relationship and some of us have jumped from relationship to relationship, you know, and and not knowing that person and we done jumped in some relationships, so now we done we in these relationships. And we can't see what's going on because basically the old relationship blinded you that you can't even have time to open your eyes up and see what you want to accept and what you're not going to accept. And, you know, with Creole Bay, you know, having her eyes closed and in a month having his eyes closed, they like, they want to accept any and everything. Like, desperate to prove to somebody who don't even care about them, you know, right. You know what I mean? Because they don't know each other like that. And it always start out good. What relationship don't start out good? It always start out good. And the next thing you know, it start crumbling. Even if it's a year or two from now, it's start crumbling. And don't let her have a baby because it's really going to be bad of her trying to get a baby. And, you know, it just won't bring more trouble to their relationship. And I see that that's why she want Erica, baby. You know, she want that baby when, they, when the baby get her. But my thing was, how is it that she worrying about, Creole Bay worrying about 
uh, who was in her relationship and what they thinking about her. But she didn't. She didn't even think twice about the outcome of her relationship or their actions because they're wrong going to affect them in any way because every action is a reaction so you might you know you might not be thinking but eventually you might what the fuck what, what was i thinking like how did this get out of proportion like that because he's not letting go He's not, and that's for any relationship. He's not letting go of the the situation with um. What's the shoe butter? He's not letting go of the situation of of being a mistake. But in all actuality, the mistake was you chose that man, and that's what your mistake come from. Because you not, you and Cry wasn't even together a year, a half a year, five months. And then from the five months to the three months, four months, that's nine, that's nine months out of, in a year that you're now in a new whole, totally new relationship, going to this relationship without knowing who you are when you left the last relationship because everybody knows. You left the last relationship based on a lie. So if that's based on if that relationship is based on a lie, then what would you bring it for to this relationship? And vice versa for the mucker. You know, and everybody said they're gonna do YouTube together, they're gonna make it, they they page gonna crumble. Like it'll be all right for the first year or two. But after that, you know, after they really get down and know each other and want to see if they want to be together, that's going to be their real test. Like, everything is a test in life. And you can't test your stuff on no three-month relationship. That's not even a test. That's just a, a pretest. That's a pretest because, like I said, y'all don't know each other. And even if, I don't care how long, you could be with a person for 100 years. But you don't know that per- Only person know that person is the man upstairs and their mother and family and father. The, and sometimes they don't even know him. But the man upstairs know him very well. You know, and you could be with somebody for 100 years. And you still try to figure this person out. So they are no different. You know, everybody been through the figuring out part. And that's why a lot of people don't want to be in a new relationship with somebody else. is because they got to figure this whole person out. But before you figure this person out, you got to figure out who you are. And, you know, um, being smart, being intelligent, having money. That don't that don't define who you are as a person. Because if that defines as who you are, you know, as a person, you would know the rights and wrongs that come with a relationship or money. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know the value of self then you lost it's just a it's a game being played on a level that they can't even explain it they can't really say bump if you love me that ain't got nothing to do with it you gotta sit do you know my favorite color do you know what i like do you know what i like to do do you know what state i like do you know where i want to go at you know, do you know what state I want to go to? Like, you could be still traveling and stuff like that, but you don't you don't know that person. You know what I'm saying? It takes years and years to know that person. 
And you still won't know that person because, look, the husband, he thought he knew that girl. Come to find out, she had a baby on, so he didn't know her. How long did they even know each other? Because it looked like to me, she's still playing games. You know, she probably was in a relationship with somebody and met him, and he probably didn't even know she was in a relationship with somebody else. And it just so happened that what she was doing in that previous relationship backfired because I'm quite sure, you know, the route she would she took, uh, she, she he didn't break her in. You know what I'm saying? So, what was her previous relationship before her daughter's father? You know what I mean? And for that relationship to been wicked, she would that relationship and with her husband doing the same thing she did with the previous relationship. And then now is she still doing it? You know, but now she's she's lying, manipulating people, manipulating YouTube. She did manipulate YouTube, and she still is manip- manipulating YouTube with this wedding, with this ring. Y'all not married? He's saying one thing, and she's showing another. Like, I wouldn't be sitting up there showing no ring, engagement ring, friendship ring, you know, because Cry got her friendship ring, which she probably, like, Cry was going to marry me. That's why he gave me the friendship. Lying. You know what I'm saying? Lying. And I think that's why he gave her that ring. Because Cryer gave her that ring. And, you know, Cryer gave Erica that thousand. And that might have been the money how much she paid for the ring. You know, it was a thousand dollars. So they got mad. She got mad. Like, how you know how much the ring costs? You in my business. What you, why are you worrying about me? I ain't worrying about you. I've been broke up with you months ago so why are you still up in my you know in my cloud for what no it's other clouds out here like why are you still in my cloud and that's probably why she went to the house because he even said it didn't happen that day but the next day you know and they wouldn't have dinner on erica's birthday and you know after that you know she they they did Erica. Well, Muffin put the debt together. So she said, I'm going to get Damon. She went to Damon's house. They know the car. He know the car. You know, that's why I said I don't think it was Muffin. Muffin. It was uh, Creole Bay that went to his house. Playing. This man, the third, got mad because Damon gave her money for her birthday. And she got mad. But how you get mad when that ring was $1,000? So how did you get married? It might have been eight, you know, eight to a thousand. It might have been five hundred, but you know, still in all, whatever it was, you know, the friendship ring. And you know, but drop them comments, y'all, and tell me. But if if y'all was pre obey, and and and, and somebody messing with your ex, how would you feel? What would be your reaction? How would you react? Drop them comments. Hit like, share, subscribe to the channel, guys. And I'll see y'all later.